So the last video showed you how to do very basic uh, image edits to your scanned black and white drawing. Um, this one will go a little bit further. So uh, from Photoshop again, uh, from Photoshop, you're going to uh, open Photoshop or you can open your document um, into Photoshop from you know desktop or drive or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to go back to this basic document. Now I'm on the crop tool because it was the last tool that I was using. You may open with the move tool selected, but choose the crop tool. We're going to come in. We already know that this um, document scanned to legal size at 300 dpi, so we don't need to check that. Um, I'm going to come in close to this image, and then of course I'm going to zoom by Control Plus and make sure that I'm actually cropping to the edge of the drawing, which I can't tell unless I'm up close. Okay, then I'm going to hit enter. Um, control zero lets this image fit on the screen. Before I do anything else, um, I'm going to go ahead and unlock that layer by clicking the lock. I could have also double tapped the layer name, um, which was background before, and uh, renamed it. So now I need to go to image rotation. Um, you may know about transform rotation. Um, I could go to edit transform and try and rotate there. However, the only thing that's going to happen if I do this, I'm zooming out so that you can see, is I'm going to rotate that top layer. So I'm escaping out of that transition. If you hit enter, you could edit undo or control Z. Um, you can always also use, oh, my computer's freaking out a little bit. You can go to your history palette and see everything that you've done. So I opened my image, I cropped it, I turned it into a layer, uh, I accidentally hit enter so that second crop is there. Okay, so when I need to rotate my entire image, not just a layer, I need to go to image, image rotation, and this is 90 degrees counterclockwise in this circumstance. Then I'm gonna add again my levels adjustment layer. Um, this is the same setting that I had since it was scanned at the same um, at the same settings as the other image on this page. I'm going to leave it like this and then save it. So file, save as, um, desktop, and this will be scan sample 2 with rotation. Of course you're going to title this your own titles, you're going to order it in your own way, but I'm just showing you how to do this. So um, I had done this previously, I'm replacing it, so yes, I want to replace the Photoshop document. Um, if you don't see this Photoshop format options pop up, then that's a reminder you have not, you're not saving it as a Photoshop document. So yeah, that's good. And then of course, again, I'm also saving it as a JPEG. You guys are keeping the Photoshop documents on your own drives. You're not uploading those to Google Drive, but you are going to um, upload. And yes, I want to replace this too. You probably won't get that pop up unless you're redoing the file. And again, you want it to be large. That's it, and then I can close out my document. If I was working with my original scan, I want to make sure I'm saving as so I don't lose that original scan since there are two images on that. Um, 